Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Jira roadmap tutorial, we are going to learn how you can start using roadmap or how you can create the first roadmap within any of your Scrum or Kanban project in Jira. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo, an innovative company that builds work planning app for Jira Cloud, such as Foxly. A plug and play prioritization and planning app is designed to take the guesswork out of the prioritization so that every backlog item counts. Check the link or description below for more on Foxly. Thank you. So let's get started. So previously we have already created the projects. So team managed project, one of them was Kanban, one of them was using Scrum template and then we had this company managed projects for Kanban and Scrum. Right now most of the software development teams use Scrum. So I'll be taking example of the Scrum but Kanban or any other team managed or company managed project would be very identical to what I'll be explaining in this particular tutorial. So there won't be much difference as such in the overall planning using the roadmap. Okay, so let's pick basically company managed scrum project. And here as we have already understood that in case you are not having this roadmap available for you, you can basically go to the board. So basically active sprints to the ellipses board settings and most probably it might be turned off, right? So in the roadmap you can just enable this turn it on uh, in the settings okay so then you'll be having this roadmap so by default roadmap will be visible as soon as you will create the new project now how to create your first roadmap so basically nothing special about the creation of the roadmap it's already there we just have to start populating our piece of work that we want to get done as part of that particular project right now this is the company managed project so say for example i'll take an example of the work item say for example i want to develop a website and there are certain work items that needs to be covered and I have assigned that project or work to a particular team. So what they'll do is they'll start creating the epic. So epic if you see in Jira is the higher level of the work item or the big piece of work item that needs to be broken down into smaller pieces and then achieved right. So to give you an example of the epic I'll open some of the sample epic. So say for example this portal registration right. So I have a courses website and on the course website I want to have the registration functionality to be available for the user. So I want to have the port portal registration functionality. So portal registration will have then multiple work items, which is nothing but the user stories or task or defects. So there can be a number of work items below it. So portal registration is a big piece of work that can have multiple stories or a number of stories. Similarly, course catalog is another epic. So epic is a big piece of work that can span multiple sprints or even a couple of months. So so this is what epic will be when you are going to create the epics in Jira, right? So we'll simply copy this portal registration epic. We'll go to the roadmap and we'll create the first epic there, right? So just paste it here, hit enter and that epic will get created and you'll see that number automatically has been appended uh, with one. This is the project key for this particular project, right? And then let me quickly create the other epic as well. Okay, so course catalog and hit enter right now these are two big pieces of work item that need to be completed as part of this project so there will be many other work items as well now below these big pieces of work item there will be stories so if we go to this particular sheet here you will see that as a buyer i would like to register using google account so that i can log into e-commerce portal successfully similarly with facebook twitter so these can be some of the sample stories now this is just a information or the story or a epic information that I have created just to explain how you can populate the information when you are working in the actual project using the roadmap and plan the overall work within your team using roadmap. So this is how you will start from the epic and then you will start populating the stories and other items below these epics. Okay, so let me copy one of the story and go to the portal registration and to create a child issue you if you'll simply highlight or hover over you will see this plus icon there right i'll click on that plus and paste the story there right so and here to change it to the type right so this is by default the story but you can have a task or bug 
as well okay so by default when you are starting the planning or the roadmap you will have the epic and the stories and tasks when the stories are being built by the development team the testing team will be testing those and they'll be finding the defects then they'll link it back to the epic and those defects will then be visible on the roadmap as well once they are linked to the epics okay so similarly as we have created the epic we'll simply copy and paste the description there and the story has been created now this is the basic information that goes into the epic and story if you'll open this particular story let me open this it doesn't have all the relevant information that needs to go in the story right so that needs to be um, populated later for example description acceptance criteria and everything as per the definition of done or definition of ready for your particular project right but by default we have the high level requirement and as a product owner or product manager you are planning the overall piece of work right you are planning the overall piece of work within your project so for that you will have the high level of epics and then stories high level epic um, uh, stories below the high level epics and that's how you will plan the overall work so this is what you will keep doing and once you are done with the basic level of planning that is what your roadmap will be and that's how it will be available for you okay so let me quickly add all of those stories below these two epics and this is what we'll continue using for our roadmaps tutorial in future so let me quickly complete that similarly for the course catalog i'll click on plus add the stories there right so now as part of this particular roadmap this is roadmap b for for say for example there is a team that is doing this particular piece of work this is what they'll be creating so they'll have epics they'll have stories below it they can have the task below it as well say for example as part of this portal registration there is certain tasks that need to be completed a technical task right that's not specifically a business requirement but in order to fulfill a business requirement a technical task need to be achieved so you can create a task below it right so you'll say it's a technical task so this is how you will simply keep ahead and adding the issues or the work items below these epics okay now once these epics are ready or the work items are being ready if you'll click on this say for example now how we can basically plan this work right so as of now the roadmap doesn't show any of the timeline so if you'll if you'll simply see uh, go to weeks view or months view or quarter, quarters view we haven't specified any of the timeline as such so we have created the epic and the work items below that and then we can also filter based on the status category or the type right so if i just want to see the the stories and not the task it will i can filter it from here i can clear the filters and then i can also do the quick filter or filter the issues in the settings you, there are different options that you can go ahead and check right i can share this particular roadmap as well but the key thing to do in the roadmap is basically after you are planning your work you have entered the work in your jira roadmap the key thing is to plan the delivery date basically what's the start date of this particular story what's the end date so how we can do it so simply click on this say for example portal registration epic and here you should get a start date field somewhere so signee reporter priority epic okay so if the field is not visible here most probably it is not configured so you can configure the field to be visible here okay so you have the story points and components etc but the start date is not visible so what you can do is either i can go to the issue view so if you simply go to the issue detail view right so i'll go here and the start date should be available here somewhere okay it's not here as well so what we'll do is let's configure it right so we can simply click on this here we'll say configure this here we'll click on configure so here you will see that this is the issue screen right scrum default issue screen so in order to make any change is we'll go to the scrum issue screen and there i can add certain fields that are not visible to me okay so let's find start date so we'll say start start typing the start date and we'll simply add the start date okay and similarly you can add any other fields that you see that are not visible okay so i've added the start date on this particular issue screen so now if i go back all right and go to the roadmap refresh this page go to the epic again and you'll 
you see the start date is available now right so now as part of the planning when i am planning to start this particular epic so that's what the start date is all about so say for example i am planning to start this particular epic from 8th of september i'll select that and just click anywhere else to save the value right so that's the start date of this particular epic and you'll see that the epic details have been populated accordingly and because there is no due date that has been set so it is showing as no due date right so start date has been populated and is visible on the roadmap similarly we can go to the other work items so say for example for this particular story the start date should be 9 right so you will simply go ahead and do these changes and that's how you will go ahead and um, start the planning of the work items so you'll do the start date end date and if say for example you want to change the start date and end date you can directly go to the issue details or you can just drag and drop right so i can just, uh, just drag and drop and the details will be updated accordingly for the epic right you'll see now the details have been updated now the end date of this particular epic is 14th of 11 uh, 4th of 11 right so similarly let me go to the next epic and i'll update the start date right so i will simply update the start date for the next epic say for example will be next week let's say 15th of all right i can update the priority for these so i can say say for example this is medium and then portal registration is high so i can change the priority of the portal registration one to the highest okay so this is something which needs to be completed first and that's how i can update the priority now to update the end date i can simply drag and drop this timeline on the roadmap and the details will be updated accordingly in these particular epics okay so to update the start and end date for these work items that are there you simply have to do the same thing so say for example this particular user story click on the user story and update the start date for the user stories as per the plan that you are going to follow to achieve these work items all right so this is very brief introduction about how you can create the roadmap first thing how you can start using using the roadmap how you create the epics then how you create the work items below that and start using the roadmap feature basically update the start date and then update the end date accordingly as per the work item and the planning that you have done within your project updating the start date for each of these work items within these epics is very important to make sure that the start and end date of these work items align to the start and end date to the epic right so this is a brief about this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful in the next tutorial i will walk into more detail of the changing the epic color and managing the dependencies etc within this particular roadmap so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching